Do you remember those infomercials from the 90s? Cutting things up quickly, spraying on your hair, and blending things to oblivion? Well, have we got a video for you! <sighs> How did you find this? <laughs> How did you find this? This is so So it's like a silk recap, when I got my first job, I was 16 and I saved all my money up for this magic wand. I was obsessed with infomercials. My cousin Brian and I would call, we would prank phone call infomercials. Anyways, I was obsessed with the magic wand. I loved it because you could like froth milk and turn it into like, it made it look like whipped cream. Turns out it was just like warm. It tasted like rubber. It was bad. It was really bad. But I, I mean, I thought you could do anything. Also it said wand, magic, you know. Due to the overwhelming response to the following program, the manufacturers of the magic wand have been able to reduce the price of their amazing product by up to 50 percent so then it wasn't that good <laughs> just say no one bought it and you have a warehouse full of them and you gotta get rid of them they went, didn't have technicians like how do we make this lush expensive and better it's the same bullshit we're gonna show you how to put magic in your kitchen with an exciting new kitchen tool called the okay so i saw a different version but i love it's the same thing Levy. First of all, I love the paid audience in there as if this is a show happening on the regular. So the audience is now, this is so 1980s. The audience is now applauding this person that they don't know, but we're all pretending like this is like Oprah Winfrey or Phil Donahue. Welcome, welcome. Hey, what would you say if I told you that you could make a yummy whipped dessert that only has 30 calories out of skin? Right off the bat. <laughs> Right off the bat, they gotta let you know that not only is it gonna create the dessert of your dreams, it's 30 calories. Water is not 30 calories. What do you mean it's 30 cal- But I'm telling you, they make you use skim milk. And you use the skim milk and it tastes like fucking rubber. But tastes just like a diet-breaking, calorie-laden mousse. What would you no, it doesn't. What is everyone- Did they just go to Florida, get in a retirement home, put a camera, and just film everybody? I'd say you're absolutely crazy. This woman, what is she gonna think when we tell her we've been on the moon? Well, it's possible. Bring out the dessert tray! Also, let's just get the most boring white man in America to bring out the dessert tray. Ian, what are you doing? Now they tear out some shit to come out here. How's that taste? Oh, really scrumptious. <laughs> she hates it. I've never eaten anything and said it's scrumptious. Boy, they're eating enough. How's that taste? Absolutely delicious. <laughs> Do they have guns to the back of their head? Like, is this a hostage situation? How's it taste? This is really chocolate mousse, right? Well, no. It is. You're the only one who got the real chocolate mousse. The rest of these assholes got the 30 calories. Yes! In fact, if you were to eat that entire dessert, it's only 30 calories. And so much air that you could literally forget your car, you could just fart your way home. <laughs> that you love the most while you're on What was his makeup regimen? Let's get the biggest glasses, comb over, wig. Let's get Ned Flanders. Idly ho, neighborino. On today's amazing discoveries, we're going to introduce you to a powerful new miracle machine for your <laughs> powerful new miracle machine. Boy, at the end of this, I think cancer's cured and we've been to Mars. The magic wand. And it doesn't just make low- The woman eating it still cannot believe she's eating it. She's now talking to the other neighbor to let them know, isn't that amazing? Oh. Drinks, mayonnaise, desserts, baby foods, coffee, spices, and save a lot of money and a lot of time. If this, these are not foods on the regular. Spices, baby food. Everyone in this audience is in their early hundreds. Who's having a baby? Here's my other favorite thing is they have all the fruits and vegetables. All the ingredients are laid out. So of course it looks easy. You, they've got 16 magic bullets that they're going to use. And every fruit known to man. Magical wand works. Welcome our good friend from England and in the kitchen? It's just... <laughs> Welcome our good friend from England! <laughs> yeah, that's right. He's gonna have an accent and you're gonna buy it because he sounds different. Ian Long! Oh, Ian. I've not even heard him speak yet. <laughs> Hello, I'm so excited today to bring you the magical, wonderful, amazing... So now, this is what happens. It's good cop, bad cop. But in this case, it's boring cop, flamboyantly gay cop. And the flamboyantly gay one is gonna make you all these foods, and then this Dunad, who apparently has never eaten anything but rocks his whole life, is gonna be like, wow, that has flavor! And then everyone in the audience is gonna clap because they just can't believe what they're seeing. Hi, Mike. You look very cute like that. Whoa, sexual tension off the bat. Are they gonna fuck? What are these carrots being used for? I am surprised. Yeah. Michael, that 
was the magic one. Okay. Would you believe me if I told you? Is this just Ringo Starr? He had nowhere else to go. Yeah, that one kitchen appliance will in fact replace over a thousand dollars worth that we've got. This one appliance is gonna replace so you can make a cake because I see a, a KitchenAid up there So this <laughs> this magic wand is gonna make you a ten layered cake thousand dollars worth It's over a thousand dollars worth of, of uh, kitchen appliance <laughs> of which you'll always He doesn't even remember his own lie. Oh. This is a bread. I'm also actually using a plastic bag Right. And what I'm gonna do here Michael very very simple. I'm actually gonna make breadcrumbs Now can you see all we do is just simply bounce the, the audience is losing their mind. They can't like, ooh. don't you watch like a weed whacker? Is anyone looking out the window like, oh my God, you cut those bushes. Machine, but it's in a plastic bag. bag. We know it's in a plastic bag. Okay, so now they're demonstrating it's safe and it's effective and ooh. The reason we're doing it in a plastic bag, Michael, we're trying to emphasize the fact that in fact, you can use this appliance in any of your <laughs> pots and pans. How much cocaine did he do before he got out on set? Because it's alarming. I'm actually here going to make mayonnaise. You're gonna make homemade I'm mayonnaise. Gonna make I'm sorry. How many times have you had mayonnaise? You're like, I just wish this was homemade. How can I make my life more difficult? Can I buy the jar of mayonnaise? This I've got to see. Well, so the egg into the jar. You'll notice as well, I'm actually working straight into the jar. A spoonful, a teaspoonful of mustard. Salt and pepper. Now, normally, of course, they use white pepper. Right. I want people to know you've made it yourself. I always used white pepper. Oh, because of that homemade that's look. That's right, that's right. Now, if you don't want to use salt, you can use a salt substitute. Or if you're really conscious with your diet, don't bother with salt. Then don't make mayonnaise. Already this is so hard. Very okay. healthy. We need a little drop of lemon juice. Another important aspect, look, vinegar. Now I'm using tarragon. Okay, I, I, if you want to make a sandwich, it's become so complicated because now you have your bread, you have your bacon, your lettuce, your tomato, and now separately you have to get an egg, mustard powder, salt, pepper, cut a lemon in half, squeeze that. We're onto white vinegar now. So you're gonna actually flavor you can the mayonnaise. Actually flavor the mayonnaise with any vinegar. What a good wish. idea! This is half the fun of working in a you're kitchen. You're really creative. Of yeah, you're really working with Picasso over here. Oh, that's the fun of work. Have you never done it? Go to the fridge. The only time this man is manic and making me so uncomfortable. His hair is awful. And I know about bad hair. I've had two hair surgeries. Do you know what the biggest ingredient of all is? No. In mayonnaise. Would you believe me? Would you believe it's actually oil? Now watch, we'll pour the oil in. We'd better off opening the top first. Pour the oil in, like so. And watch, I'm actually gonna fill the jar completely up. Okay. Notice... I thought we were trying to lose weight. We're filling an entire jar full of oil. Is it one that's actually got three different blades? Three blades. Oh God, it's so complicated. Steel. The chopping blade, it's obvious, isn't it? That one chops. Looks very sharp. That one actually beats. Okay. And this one, this one, can you see? Oh. It's actually made of nylon and it's not square. Oh, it's a slight angle. Got a little ripple, we'll show you more about that in just a second. Oh my god, this man's chaotic! Okay, this part I'm excited about. Right. We're gonna turn it on very slowly. Now watch what happens, Michael. Oh, it's starting to turn. It's starting all to, get white. to do. It's Wait. all to do with the power of Look the at machine. That. It's all to do with the power of the machine, Michael. There's exactly. nothing else. Can you see? And as we lift it up, can you see? I'm just lifting it there. See, the biggest problem with any of those Look. kitchen gadgets that you would normally have. With any of those kitchen gadgets that you would normally have, this. Mike, you do in fact the problem with them. It's very simple. This looks just like mayonnaise. That's well, can not, I taste not it? Not only does it taste, taste like it. there you go, let's just have a little bit there. Okay. Mm. And the problem is just this is that great. back into the jar. The tarragon. Ooh. And can you tell immediately? This is chaos. This is chaos, Magic Wanda. It looks like 15 men dumped and left. That's what that looks like. Is there any way to make it without all the oil in it? Of course there is, Michael. If What's he doing down there? Is there like a producer he really needed this job from and he has to finish the job during the set? I substitute half the oil with Cottage cheese. Sounds like a recipe. Take notes. Who, how did this guy get this job? Because I want this job. We should make our own infomercial. I would love it. I would be so good at it. I'd be better than this coked out British Ringo Starr wannabe. How do you fancy a bit of soup, Michael? We don't have time for soup. soup. How do you fancy a bit of soup? How do you fancy a bit of soup, Michael? Time for soup. Look, you got a boil with soup. And I love that he has to play like the idiot. We don't have time for soup, you idiot. You've got to boil the soup. It's like, don't worry, Michael. I've got your solution. I'm just going to put my hand over the top just to stop any little bits and pieces. The pieces are flying everywhere. Just simply dab the machine. Dab 
So if it's so easy, if you have a family of seven people and you want to make soup and you threw out all of your other appliances because this will answer your problems, how many hours are you going to sit in the kitchen to chop up little tiny vegetables? You will literally be making soup for seven hours. Oh, he's all the lot down. Now, Michael, think a little bit further. Everyone looks like they're jacking off while they're making it. Put a bit of chicken in there as well. Okay? You mean this is going to chop the meat too? And again, now watch. Just up and down. Wow. Mix it all up. It chopped the meat like that. And then... That looks disgusting. If someone handed me a drinking glass full of chopped up vegetables and a chopped up cold piece of chicken and you just boiled water over it, what in the little orphan Annie are we talking about? This is literally like schlock. This is literally like Oliver Twist. You've actually there got pure vegetable soup. That looks disgusting. Chris, it looks like throw up. Okay. Wash up, remember, it's very, very easy. Just in the water mm. like that. Give it a rinse. This is better than a toilet. Okay? No wonder they couldn't get this goddamn thing out of the warehouse. And I was the asshole who bought it. This is the way to make soup. Vegetable soup. In two minutes. Vegetable. In a drinking cup. Get to the frothing. Oh, problem, mate. Potatoes. Potatoes. You know, we've all used one of those things for mashing your potatoes, haven't we? Those old-fashioned mashing Those old-fashioned sure. things. So let's mash them the easy way, Mike. Okay, the magic one. Can you pass us a drop of milk out the fridge? Okay. And while you start, look, I'm just going to make a start here actually mashing the potatoes. First of all, potatoes don't take a long time to mash. Literally, a fresh-born baby could mash potatoes. There you go. It's as quick and as easy as that, look. Oh, it's creamy. All mixed in together, creamy, fluffy mashed potatoes. And Michael there, Doug, do you want to taste this as well? I'd love to. You're going to be my size by the time we've finished here in the kitchen. What about the whipped desserts? I want to taste some desserts. We're going to do that in a minute. We'll get that in a fucking minute. Come on, you fucking wait. We're going to get the fucking minute right away. We're going to get the potato. 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 Where I pause right now, these two men just fought each other. My wife's gravy that she makes. Here's some gravy. So I got my kitchen, my actual magic wand. Turning Ew! Okay, this everything. First of all, it's all stuff you don't have. Right in the pan. You can do this right in the pan. This is literally looks like diarrhea. This audience will clap for anything. I could go up there and pee in my left hand and they'd be like, yeah! It's funny and it's true. The desserts at the start of it. Yes, desserts. Well, we'll come to those in a minute. Let me oh, show you something on. else first. Nah, that was just a little bit of a tease. I gotta see him turn Hello. skim milk into Watch. a 30 calorie. Skim milk? What did I say? Watch. I've actually prepared this before we started. It's a pineapple. Of course you prepared it before we started because this takes another 20 minutes. All the pulp up, it should actually be too much. This so is just take a little bit enough to beat the pulp. I, he asks the dumbest questions. Is that food? Is that a blade? Is that, wow, this is better than. Enough. I'm again using the blade. The chopping okay, blade. The chopping blade. Okay. Michael, seconds it takes. <gasps> it is literally coming through his hands. Right inside the pineapple. Inside the pineapple, okay? There's your pineapple. <laughs> Do you believe me? That machine will, in fact, also crush ice. It'll so crush ice. ice. Ice is yeah. real hard, now, though. You know when you make... <laughs> I don't know who I hate more. I literally don't know who I hate more. Neither of these two are likable. Bit of icing there. Again, we're using the chopping blade. Again. This. And all we do is simply chop the ice down. Look. Fantastic. Put that one down. And now, my for desserts. Now, time for dessert. You are a 43 year old man for desserts. He's literally like this. Desserts. Desserts. Well, come now to those desserts. Now, Mike. Skim milk into we'll see. Skim milk, we'll see about this, you fucking idiot. <laughs> we'll see about that. Skimmed milk. Okay. Skim milk. Do you want to pass me some skilled milk? Skim milk. Skim milk has no fat in it and no flavor. So that's why they have to use skim milk because It'll just be air. Now you'd be amazed, actually. And Mike, for me, this is the real magic behind the magic wand. For me too. A little drop of skin milk. Remember, it must be ice cold. Ice cold. The real magic. This man should not be selling things. He should be cleaning garages. Pop it in, turn it on, and as we turn it, just lift. All Look we're doing that. is aerating. Aerating all the way back milk. like that. Okay? 
and we're lifting, lifting, lifting. And can you see how it's actually turning thicker and thicker and thicker? And that's the Venturi ring. That's the Venturi ring. It actually, might creates a whirlpool. This guy is like on his last paycheck. I'm not using sugar, I'm using equal. Oh, so there's like Pop little or no calories in there. Virtually no calories at all, Michael. This is a Give recipe. That a little bit of a turn. And again, remember the Venturi rings sucks the vanilla. How was I impressed by this? I was a 16 at home like this is it. I figured out in life what I need. Now look, do you realize how thick that is? <laughs> His face went. <laughs> Retail 159.95. I'll tell you what we're going to do, Mike. Forget all the bargaining. Come on. We're going to knock a straight $60 off the price. This is probably 1989. $60. So it's still like what? A hundred bucks? What's $60 from 1989 to now? $60 in 1989 is $152 today. So it's literally 150 bucks. He said it was 150 bucks. We're slashing it. $60. So that was $150 back then. The irony, it's too expensive. They want more. Oh, a little bit of bargain. I was Come prepared. On. I was prepared, man. A menu book. A recipe book. Everything I A menu book. I've shown you plus a lot Now the lot desserts more. are in here, right? Now, if he asks about those desserts one more time. I don't know. There's a lot of embarrassment because I bought... Next we're gonna have to go over the turbo cooker because that was one my cousin and I were obsessed with. That infomercial was so chaotic. There was zero rehearsals. The only people that were really prepared was the audience members, not the two hosts of the show. I don't even know what to say, Chris. It was bad. It was chaos. I feel sorry for everyone who had to eat that. A cake made by the magic wand? Frosting made with skim milk. Well, please like and subscribe and join us next week for another adventure. I'm currently on tour. I'm on the Al Dente tour, so you can go to MateoLaneComedy.com. We are coming to Europa, and I will be doing two shows in Dublin, Manchester. We're doing a show in Rome, Madrid, Berlin, two in Cologne, and I think that's it.